happy Friday. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate you and the time that you're taking out of your day to watch this. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Amy and this is Mix It McGee because my channel is just a mix of cleaning videos, cooking videos, uh, grocery hauls, Dollar Tree hauls. So if you like those kind of videos, you're definitely in the right place. So don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, I'm just gonna be cooking up a little something. Well, actually I don't even have to put it in the oven. So this is super fast, super easy. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, and here's what you're going to need. I'm going to be making bacon, ranch, cheddar, roll-ups, super easy. So you're gonna need two packages of cream cheese. You're gonna need some tortillas. You're gonna need some ranch dip or ranch, you know, the powder. Um, some, well, the recipe calls for chives, um, but the chives in my store didn't really look very good yesterday. So I just went ahead and got green onions. You're gonna need some cheese and then onion powder, garlic powder, and I guess salt and pepper to taste. And this is all of this, of course, except for these. It's all, oh, and you need bacon. Where's my bacon? Hold on just a minute, let me get my... Okay, and let's get started. So I have a bowl with my cream cheese in it, and this is two packages, and it's gonna need to be softened. And then you're going to have your six strips of bacon, and I've got it all chopped up, and I've got my chives chopped up. So you're just gonna take this and dump it into the bowl. And this is really easy because everything you're just gonna dump in the bowl. And then you're gonna get some of your uh, ranch seasoning and you just need one tablespoon. And you're just gonna sprinkle that in. And then you are going to get your cheddar cheese and you need one and a half cups. Okay, need that. And I'm making a mess, but that's okay. Okay, and you're gonna dump this in your bowl. And then half. Okay, that looks about half. I'm a messy, a messy baker, a messy cook. Okay, and then you just need, I guess this is all to taste, some onion powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. And then you need some garlic powder. And then salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna leave the salt and the pepper out because I don't really want that in there. But um, you can definitely put it in there. And with the chives, you need about, uh, well, I use green onions, but you're gonna want two tablespoons. And I am gonna link this recipe down below. And see, everything is in there. And I'm just gonna get it all mixed up. And I will be right back. Okay, and I've got it all mixed up, as you can see, and this smells really good. And you know, I thought about it, and if you wanted, you could leave out the chives, put in some jalapenos, like chopped jalapenos, and you could make it like um, like a jalapeno popper a dip, like stick it in the oven. I mean, you could do so many things with it. But okay, it's all mixed up, and then I'm just gonna take some, and I have my tortilla here, and I think this is eight inch and you're just gonna start spreading it around all over. Just like this. I mean, really the possibilities are kind of endless with this because you could put in some chicken, like a rotisserie chicken, like shred some chicken up and put in here. I mean, you could just do, you know, all kinds of things. You could do like um, a buffalo chicken one and put some buffalo sauce in with the cream cheese. Just so many things you could do. And I'm just gonna use my finger here because my hands are clean. This is what you do, you just get it all spread in there. I guess try to make it even as you can. And the softer your cream cheese is when you're doing this, the more easier it's gonna be to get it mixed up and spread on here. And this smells real good. Okay, now I've got my, and I'm just doing this on a baking sheet so I don't make a mess on the table, but I've got it on there. And then you just take it and you just start rolling. I think I could use a little more though.
Okay, now I'm gonna start rolling. And just roll it up. And I guess you don't wanna squeeze it too tight or you'll probably have everything coming out like here. But, and really that's basically it. Looks like a big roll. And then we're gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna cut off the ends because there's really not much like on the end, as you can see. So I'll just get rid of that little bit here. There we go. Ugh, I've got cream cheese all over my hands. That's okay. And then you just start cutting. And you can make them as thick as you want or as thin as you want. It's really all up to you and how you want it. But let me show you a piece here. Look how good the cream cheese. You can see the green onion. Yum. Okay, let me get the rest of this cut up and plate it up and then we will do a taste test. Okay, we're all done and let me show you. You can see the green onions, the bacon, the cheese. Yum. Okay, let's taste. That is good. Oh, the bacon's crunchy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This was so easy, so fast. You've got to make this. It is absolutely delicious. And that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to start smacking. I just, I got carried away. Look, it's so good and it's super fast. Uh, super easy and you can have it as a snack um, we're just gonna have it for dinner but anyway I want to thank you for watching my video today I do truly appreciate you and the time that you're taking to watch this I know that time is precious there's not a lot of it so um, I just hope maybe you can take something away from my video today I hope you go make this you won't regret it and I hope you all have a good weekend and be safe and I will see you on my next video bye